started to drive home in the middle of the night. Stopped and got some gas station food on the way back home and then pulled off on a nondescript uh, pull off on the road and just crashed out. So now it's sometime in the morning and uh, it's raining pretty good. Trying to find somewhere to eat on the way back home and then uh, start processing meat and uh, probably get the head sealed. Be a good week. Took the camera in there. And You're torturing people. I had some free time. You had some free time. I don't want to know what that means, but okay. Meal of champions. I don't always eat, but when I do. I eat open cream pies. Uh, about to get into town, we're gonna go take a shower, get some fresh clothes, and then we're gonna go to fishing game and get the horns plugged, make it official, make it totally legal. Is there a sheep in there? Yeah. We're not gonna start yet, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Right here. Wow. Where are we going? Fishing game to get the head sealed. You look like you cleaned up a little bit. I did, I took a nice shower. I exfoliated all my body. I have, uh, it looks like someone took a whipping stick and just beat the hell out of my back and my legs and the top of my butt and my shoulders and my two hips, or both sides of my hip rather. I don't have two hips. But we're home getting it done, getting everything done. Got to go grab a meat grinder in a little bit and uh, get work on the meat preparation. Yeah. Give a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. He looked like a monster in that area. Thanks, man. Take yeah. care. I'll see you later. Look. Look, Revan. There's the seal. Yeah. yeah, see, he drilled it, put it in there, and he pounded it with a hammer. I want the food driver. Mm -hmm. Now we're all legal. See, that's the chalk they tell how old it is. What do you got? Fully sealed ram. All done. Now I'll just last thing to take care of is all the all the meat. So time to get out of here. Yep. I grab my 
beer. What do we got going today? A lot of meat processing, a lot of meat cutting. All right, show me your setup here. Got my table, put out some butcher paper. I already did most of the uh, burger, um, but I just, this is the last of the roast. This is your back straps, tenderloins, a couple little cutlets from the burger pile that were a little too nice to turn into burger. But uh, yeah, just got big roast left from mostly the hindquarters. Just taking my time, picking off all the hair, getting out all the crud, and cutting off all the film, and just making it nice and uh, as delicious as possible. Cooked up those little bits there for the wife, so she can say, oh yeah, next year, please go. Please go sheep hunting next year. Please, please, please. A little sharp knife is the best for these parts. Lift it up so we can put more in. Okay, push it down. Mom, happy and sing. Okay. Happy and sing. So good. Push it hard. I'm trying to push it really hard. Okay, go ahead. Woo! <laughs> push, push, push. All right. There's the last of it, last of the sheep in. So we got sheep back strap up here, sheep roast up here, all sheep burger here and here. Got some caribou from last year all around here. Um, some halibut, got some aw dad, a couple moose roast behind these trout fillets. And then we got all this is all king salmon from this year. And got a heart from my caribou last year. That I'm waiting for another part of another animal, probably from a moose this year, to combine them to make a really nice big meal. But uh, other than that, it's looking pretty good for now. Just gotta take them one meal at a time and one recipe at a time.